How's it going guys? My name is DJP. Welcome back to another MB The Show 24 franchise video here. We're doing the final legend team rebuild today, which is the Long Ball Beast. The Long Ball Beast. We put them on the Colorado Rockies. Why not, right? Because they get to play at Coors Field and hit long balls as beasts, right? Leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Comment down below some more video ideas. We're a socialist play the second channel and main channel down below in the description if you like other content from me, DJP. Similar to the other two, we're doing three seasons, injuries off. It's not meant to be realistic, obviously. And yeah, all the rules are down below in the description. With that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so we are in the game. Now, hopefully, we could keep as many of the players, but as you know, we're not playing with the budgets on or ignore budgets on, so sub guys will be leaving and it will be up to the team to do that. So, I mean, here's the entire roster. We got Jake Arrieta, Agent Beltre, Vladimir Guerrero, Derek Jeter, Randy Johnson, Chipper Jones, Greg Maddox, Pedro Martinez, Mark McGuire, David Ortiz, Andy Pettit, uh, Pudgy, Johan Santana, Sammy Sosa, Frank Thomas, Larry Walker, Mariano Rivera, Bernie Williams, CC Sabathia, David Wright, Joe Maurer, Brian Dozier, Andrew Miller, Chase Sutley, Billy Wagner, Rob Nen. Richie Saxon, Trevor Hoffman, Ryan Braun, John Smoltz, Ian Kinsler, Rich Aurelia, uh, Mike Cameron, Brian Wilson, Alex Gordon, Matt Holliday, Tom Glavin, Ryan Ludwig, Tony Tarasco, and then Tim Raines to round it out. I think everybody except for Tim Raines is in the majors right now, but I'm sure some things will happen. Uh, we also have Anthony Molina for some reason on the team. I guess because he's a rule five, so he has to be on the team. That's why Tim Raines is not on, you know, the roster. Major League roster, that is. So there's the lineup. Looks pretty good. There's the bench. Also looks pretty good. And again, it's depending on lefties and stuff, it switches. So should be fun. And our pitching rotation of Pettit, Santana, Martinez, Maddox, and Arietta is looking really good. And then the bullpen looks great except for this 44 overall who hopefully doesn't pitch too much, if at all. But we'll see. And we got Randy Johnson coming out of the bullpen right now. That's pretty insane. Should be fun. Uh, we're going to simulate to the all-star break and we're going to see how well this team does. Should be fun. Like I already mentioned, not once, not twice, but 4,567 times. All right, I'll see you guys at the All-Star break with a sim. We should be pretty good. We're currently 77 and 20 at the All-Star break. So we're looking pretty good. Not sure if you guys heard my fan go off in the background or not. Need to put that on the AC, baby. Oof. Hot. Let's take a look at the lineup, see what we got. Chipper Jones right there. We got Bernie Williams, Frank Thomas, Big Poppy. Overall, the lineups look all right. Not too bad, not too shabby. The bench. Some guys hitting, some guys hitting. Let's take a look at the pitching. The pitching, Pettit's been looking good. Martinez, Maddox, Arietta, and Randy Johnson in the starting lineup now. Our starting rotation looks good. Yo and Santana, the bullpen. A little bit of a mixed bag, but definitely a little bit of a mixed bag, if I'm being honest. That Rob Nett is a closer. Let's take a look at the standings here 77 and 20. Best in the NL West, of course, and best in the entire league. Brewers are 15 games behind us, it looks like, or 14 and a half. 15 and a half. At, well, no, 15, yeah. No, 15 and a half, yeah. 20 and 36, so, yeah, 15 and a half games behind us. For the best record in Major League Baseball. Now, I do think we lost a few guys, uh, a couple guys, one or two maybe, but it's all good. Uh, ooh, Tovar. Okay, see, look. Okay, so the game puts the players in free agency. That's what they do. That's what they do. Okay, so that is good to know. So that's why, even though I didn't put them in free agency, like the game on me does it. So that's why Tovar is in free agency and all those guys. Very interesting. Thank you for letting me know that, San Diego Studios, because I just did not realize that. But now, yeah. Now I know. Now I can officially see. I mean, I kind of figured that out, but I need to see with my own two eyes, and I just did. We're going to win a lot of games. We're going to make the postseason. 
We just got to win the World Series, at least in the first season. This is the best iteration of the team we're going to have, so let's see if we can win it. 28-34, won the division, taking the win of the wildcard playoff games. We had a great season here in Colorado. You can see there, Guardians 104 wins in the AL, and that's the only other team with 100 wins, so looking good. Take a look at the league leaders. We have a Pedro Martinez strikeouts, Randy Johnson win percentage, Jake Arrieta wins, and complete games, and whip. Pedro's got something there as well. Frank Thomas, home runs, RBIs, runs, slugging, and on base plus slugging. Very nice season there. Christian Yelich at 356. It's pretty impressive. And look at William Contreras. He at 343. Brewers might be a problem. Awards. Pedro Martinez, Cy Young, and Frank Thomas, National League Most Valuable Player. Very nice to see all Colorado Rockies. Let's take a look here at the lineups. See how the team did, and overall looks pretty solid. Larry Walker there as well. Yeah, the team did well. Dozier only hit 255 though. I need to get a little higher than that, buddy. I guess he's. I guess he's considered a legend. Hmm. Get that one really good. He had a couple good. He had a couple good seasons here. And he got flipped to Washington. I don't know. I, I feel like this shouldn't be. Uh, is he a legend? I don't know. I guess. But and Ryan Braun as well in the bench. All right, let's take a look here at the pitching rotation. I mean, overall looks great. The bullpen is okay. We got Brian Wilson up here, so now it's all legends. Overall, not bad. Marion Rivera struggled though. He struggled. But other than that, team looks pretty. Primed pretty good. They look good. They look primed to win But that doesn't mean anything Same through day we got the Los Angeles Dodgers 98 win team better than by 30 games Let's See how we fare against them game one. We got Pettit. They got Yamamoto and we're gonna win it five to three Game two Cy Young Pedro Martinez versus Clayton Kershaw. We win nine to seven Not the best performance there from him Maddox for Sotani, and we win 6-2. Going to the NLCS to take on the Philadelphia Phillies. Who won 96 games. Respectable. So Maddox versus Wheeler, game one, we win 5-4. Game two, Pettit for Suarez, we lose 12-9. Okay. Try to see if we can come back here and win. We don't. Martinez, what are we doing? Right, we're down 2-1, Turnbull versus Maddox, and we win 7-4. Okay. Do or die game five here, and we do win it. Game six, Martinez versus Suarez. Lose three to two. Did we choke this game? Kind of. Yeah, we gave three runs. We had a 2 0 lead and then blew three in the inning. And Martinez, once again, with the loss. And then Mario Vera. Okay. I'm not I'm not hopping on in until we get to the World Series. So this game seven, we're just gonna fast sim it, and we win it five to four. Let's go. And we got the Boston Red Sox in the World Series here in our first season. Trying to win an 88 win team. We were better than by 40 games, so let's see what happens here. Pettick versus Hawk, game one. We win 10 to 9. Billy Wagner with the win. Game two, Martinez versus Pavetta. And there we go. Martinez finally the good outing. Game three, Maddox versus Whitlock. We win 7 to 6, and it looks like we're about to sweep here, potentially. We're hopping play game. Very quick manage. And we're going to see what happens. At Fenway, which is kind of fun. We'll see what we can do here. Cutter Crawford on the mound for them. Nothing doing in the first inning. Second inning, nothing much there. Gave up two runs, though. We're down 2-0. we got to start hitting the ball. We're not really doing that well. All right, we got three runs there in that inning, so that's good to see. Top five, nothing. Bottom five, nothing. Top six, nothing. Bottom six. They tie it up. All right. Seventh inning. I'm going to do a little pitching change here. We're going to bring in... Smoltz and see what he can do. Gets out of that nicely. All right, bottom eight. It's still three three. Top nine. Walk. Double. Oh, I wanted to hop in. I will. Right, well, uh, no, we're not gonna hop in. Not no, not yet. Fly out. Strike out. Walk. Ground out. All right, four to three. Smoltz on the mound. We're gonna bring in. Uh, we're gonna bring Mariano Rivera. We're gonna give him a chance to redeem himself. Ground out, ground out, Trevor Story, possibly the final out here. Let's watch. 
All right, they actually did a pitching change here. So we're gonna do a team select. Oh, not, yeah, uh, yeah, pinch hitter. Masataka Yoshida for Trevor Story. So I guess he had the day off today and he's gonna hit a one and that's gonna, probably gonna drop there. It does for a base hit. All right. And we are bringing in Rob Nen to close it out. So there we go. We've got Nico Herner on the team. Okay. Runner on first two outs. Nico Herner trying to keep the game alive and the series alive and ongoing. Let's see what happens, Rob. Fly ball. Right field. Under it is Guerrero. And that will be it. Your long ball beasts. Win the World Series in their first season, the best iteration of the team that we're going to have this entire video, because retaining all these players will be impossible with ignore budgets off. But hey, I can't complain. Let's see if we can win some more. That's the question. How many can we win? Stick around and find out. We won the World Series, as you saw. Let's take a look here at the awards. We have a World Series MVP, Ron Rodriguez, and also David Ortiz, Playoff MVP. Very solid stuff there. Let's take a look at the lines throughout the postseason. And I feel like we hit the ball really well, so that's good, except for uh, the bottom of the order. Beltre and Udley kind of struggled a lot, but the bench, Jeter, oof, didn't have a single hit in the postseason. So also didn't do too much as well, but doesn't matter. We won. Pettit struggled. Jay Gary didn't even pitch. Yeah, our starting rotation wasn't very good in the postseason. Bullpen was up and down. I'm kind of surprised we won, actually, but I guess we got timely hits and timely outs in our favor. I'll take it. Let's head on to the offseason. I offered all my guys contracts. Uh, do we have any tenderings to do? Not really. So we should let the game kind of do it, but we're going to lose some of our players. I've already... You know, we've already come to terms with that. That's what's going to happen. And it's fine. I mean, we'll see what happens. See who we keep. Imagine no matter who we keep, we're still going to be the favorites. That's really what's going to happen at the end of the day. We're going to get most of our guys back. So, see what happens. Uh, we'll take a look around the league to see where players go once we start the second season, which is that's when I'm going to see you next. The second season, we're going to take a look here at the lineups. So we got Vladimir Guerrero, Brady Williams, Frank Thomas, David Ortiz, Chipper Jones, Sammy Sosa, Von Rodriguez, Beltre, and then Brian Dozier. Close it out there. There's the bench. Looks pretty good. Uh, Bauer, Jeter, McGuire, Ryan, and Dave Wright. The pitch rotation, a little bit iffy. Only have three starters now. Pettit, Martinez, and Santana. Dollander and Freeland. Yikes. We had Smoltz, Glavin, Wagner, Wilson, Miller, Rivera, and then Rob Nen out of the bullpen. I mean... Bullpen, I guess, is better. I mean, theoretically, John Smoltz would step in and be a starting pitcher. Also, it's such a weird picture of John Smoltz. I don't know. I feel like you'd want him pitching, not at the plate. Well, in case you guys are curious, let's see where some players went. Uh, I know someone signed with the Phillies, the Braves. So we're going to take a look here. I think mostly in the NL, which is not good for us. So Randy Johnson went to the Braves. They're looking really good. I mean, we're still better, but Larry Walker went to the Phillies. It's a good pickup for them. Uh, Reds got Greg Maddox. Yeah, Arietta and Sabathia went to the Dodgers. Dodgers always seem to get the legends. God dang it, Dodgers. Okay. It's always the big market teams. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to simulate. We're definitely going to de be downgrade in talent, especially since we lost a bunch of starting pitchers, two starting pitchers. It's not going to help, but we'll see. Should to be pretty good. 1-36, 25 games over. We're not even better than the Dodgers. They got a game on us, so this is uh, looking a little, a little scary, but we're right in the running, though. Phillies are pretty good, too. Uh, Brewers, okay. How are the Braves doing? They're 47-49. They've been struggling. All right. We look at the lineups. I feel like offensively we should be okay. Frank Thomas in 351. It's very impressive. 
The Big Hurt. Alright, I mean, nothing to write home about. The pitching is what scares me a little bit, obviously. I'm a little worried about that bottom half of the rotation. Uh, but we'll survive. The bullpen has been up and down some of these guys, but you guys can see the stats. I'm not going to go too far in depth with them. I mean, the real question becomes, can we have a good second half of the season? I, I don't know if we'll be able to beat the Dodgers. They, they just seem like they might be better than us. But we'll see. Maybe we could win 45 games in the second half of the year. That would be 61 and 36. Yeah, you can win 45 games. Let's aim for that. Three games, which is even better. 114 and 48. Won the division, taking the win of the wildcard playoff game. We like to see that. We got league leaders. Pedro Martinez strikeouts, win percentage, wins, bleak games, and whip. So he's definitely a Cy Young winner. Frank Thomas, home runs, RBIs, batting average. Might have just won the MVP and batting title and triple crown and Hank Aaron award. Yeah, hits, runs, slugging. He had it all. Awards, Martinez, Cy Young. Hank Aaron award, Frank Thomas. MVP, Pedro Martinez. Batting title and triple crown to Frank Frank Thomas. So he didn't even get the MVP once Pedro Martinez, but eh, you know he, he played he played well. So MVP and a Cy Young. That's unprecedented for sure. And you guys can see, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about this, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Johan got like trimmed down that ERA a little bit, but no. Other than that, I'm uh, I guess I'm satisfied with the team. Pitching there, the lineups you guys could take a look at. Chase Utley called up from wherever he was. Or was on the bench maybe, but probably called up. So 114 wins was the best in the National League. Uh, Phillies at 104. Bruce at 111. All the good teams are in the NL. Mind you. Yeah, all the best teams are in the NL. So the NL is a bloodbath. All right, Dodgers. This is a tough matchup. First uh, and foremost, Martinez versus Sabathia. Game one, we win six to five. Game two, Pettit versus Otani. We win four to one. Can we win game three with Santana on the mound versus Glasnow? We can. We win four to three. Santana on the Brewers. Brewers, you saw 111 games. This is a good team. This is a good team. I, I don't even remember if they signed anybody. I'm going to double check because I don't recall if they did. Let's see. No, well. No, well, they got Jazz, I guess. Because they have Jazz. I don't know how they got him, but they got him. They traded for him. Just a good team. Game one, Freddie Peralta versus Pedro Martinez. We win 11 to six. Game two, Pettit versus Woodruff. We win it. Okay, we're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0 here? We can. All right, well, this is gonna be a loss. No. Okay, Chase got the W. Good job. Well, Tom Glavin got the W. So we're in the World Series and we're taking on the Tigers. The Tigers are in the World Series. 88 win team. All right, Scooball versus Martinez, game one. We win it 7-6. Game two, Pettit versus Flaherty. We win 11-1. Can we win game three? Santana versus Reese Olsen. We're trying to go perfect in the postseason. Can we do it? Go back to back. Let's find out. Derek Park stepping on in. Martinez on the mound. Michael Lorenzen for them. And we are winning 3-0 so far. Let's try to get some more runs if we can. So far, nothing doing. We got five. Bottom four, uh, top four, nothing. Bottom four, nothing. Top five. We're up 7-0. I'm confident we're going to win this game here. And Martinez is pitching superb so far. And I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. The way he's pitching right now. He's giving up a run there. All right, we're going to take out Martinez. And we're going to bring in bring Andrew Miller to close it out. Strike out, strike out. Let's watch the final at bat, O'Neill Cruz. Final at bat, potentially. We're Andrew Miller versus O'Neill Cruz. We are up 7 of 1 here. Two outs. That is a ball off of the plate. We're trying to win our second straight World Series. And remember, we have all the players locked up right now, so 
this is basically going to be the same team. I mean, we're not going to have any money, so that's something to kind of keep note of. Andrew Miller, two balls, zero strikes. Tigers are trying to stay alive. We're trying to complete the immaculate postseason where we don't lose. And, whoa, that was way upstairs. I guess Shea Langelier is on deck. You just throw a fastball right down the middle, possibly. Wow, you cannot find the zone whatsoever. Okay. Not very good there. Okay. So it brings up Shea. Ooh, swing and a miss. Ballsy to swing after far straight balls. That's a base hit. That's going to be trouble. First and third now. Runners on the corners. And that is going to bring up Dominic Canzone. Or Canzoni. I'm going to say Canzone. Because he can zone. He gets in the zone. So let's see what he can do. Miller's a little, struggling a little bit right now. And that ball is hit. But foul. So one ball, one strike. Trying to get out of this game here. It's Miller could not seem to find the zone whatsoever. Might need to make a pitching change. He is kind of struggling after two straight outs. There we go. Finally got the zone there. Two balls, two strikes. Tigers fans on their feet praying that they could stay alive. But they will not as we win our second straight World Series with the Long Ball Beast. So they have a chance to three-peat to be the only team to do it as they get the job done in the second season as well. Very impressive indeed. Let's take a look at the awards. Very nice stuff there from the Long Ball Beast who are cosplaying as the Colorado Rockies. They're Shipper Jones, player of the game. Two or five, two home runs, five RBIs. Good stuff. The uh, Rockies, a.k.a. the Long Ball Beast, win the World Series. We've got awards. Ryan Braun, World Series MVP. Playoff MVP, Frank Thomas. So I'd love to see that. I don't know how Ryan Braun won the play uh, World Series MVP. We're going to look. Okay. He was, what, two for three? I don't know how he won it. I think, uh, I think he got sold. I think someone got sold here a little bit, but... Frank Thomas, my goodness, he definitely got sold. He had 500. Frank Thomas, we gotta put Frank Thomas in a zero -a league. I feel like he would rake. He would definitely rake. So I'd love to see that. The pitching rotation. I mean, Pettit was superb, which is awesome to see. John Smoltz didn't even pitch in the postseason. Mostly everybody did well, so. Love it. Let's head on to the third and final season. Can we complete? The three-peat. Don't have any free agents, which is fine. Nobody really that's important to tender. We don't have any money, so we can't offer anybody any money. Let me see. Do I see any legends here? I don't, but if I wanted to throw Kyle Tucker a contract, I can't. So, this is the team. Uh, we're keeping it as is. Third and final season. I mean, there's not much else we could do. But, I mean, there's really not much we would really need to do anyway. But we're going to see if there's any movement. We'll take a look at the beginning of the season. If players are still where they are or if there are any other legends that maybe get released somehow, some way. Final season. Let's take a look here. Lineups. To me, it looks like pretty much the same lineup, which is cool to see. As you guys can look. You can see it. I don't need to really go through all the names again. The bench. Is what they are. We got John Snell. Look at that. Pitch rotation, obviously. Again, we still have the two non legends starting, but our bullpen is still really good as well. Uh, some regression happening, but natural. Natural. It's going to be hard to win three in a row, but this team's won two. And can they win three in a row? That is the question. They'd be the only team to do it. If they can, so we'll see. But before I even do that, as I rub my nose, man, I'm so it my nose is so itchy. I don't know why. I got like those nose hairs. You know those nose hairs? That's what I have. And that's what's making my nose itch. 
Shout out to nose hairs, though. They protect your nose. All right. We're going to view the uh, rosters here. And, uh, wow, yeah, nobody in the AL, which is crazy. So, Johnson's on the Braves. I work on the Phillies. Maddox on the Reds. Dodgers still have Arietta and Sabathia. And that's it. Yeah, really not a lot of movement. Oh. See if we can win. Third and final season. 79 and 20 at the All Star break. We're looking fantastic. And we are the best team. No team. Oh, well, the Brewers have 60 wins, but no team has 70, that's for sure. But we're looking really good on the sides, us. We almost had 80. We have had 80, but that would have been nice. Uh, Chipper Jones in 372. That's pretty impressive. If I say so myself. Yeah, I love it. James Sosa is having a good season as well. Yeah, this team's looking good. Team is looking very good. There's Rodriguez. I love it. Absolutely love it. We look at the rotation and the bullpen. Okay, you know what? John Snell's doing okay. It's, it's good. He's doing all right. Uh, the bullpen has been, uh, you know, overall pretty good. I mean, there's some guys that have been kind of iffy, like Tom Glavin, the Times, and Brian Wilson. I mean, he's 5-0. and All right. Let's keep it going. I mean, we're try like I said, we're trying to win three in a row. This is our best chance to do it. Let's see how many wins we can get. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict we're going to win 121 games. That's my prediction. Let's see if I'm right. Wrong. I'm going 125. 125. I'll take 125, though. 125 and 37. Won the division. Taking the win of the Warcraft playoff game. So let's take a look at the league leaders. We got Pedro Martinez and a bunch of stuff. Oh, you see Angie. And he petted there as well with seven shoutouts. But you see there. Frank Thomas, home runs. RBIs because Sammy Sosa this year. Chipper Jones hit 369. Had 211 hits. 131 runs. David Ortiz base on balls. All right. It's a mixed bag of who could win. The award shots of William Contreras has been really good in the sim engine. Been really good. It's impressive. Very impressive. All the awards. Pedro Cy Young. Hank Aaron goes to Chipper Jones. Pedro Martinez MVP and Chipper Jones batting title. So basically it's been Pedro Martinez and Frank Thomas carrying my team. I don't want to say caring, but, you know, they, they've been really good. I mean, Chipper had a great season, though. Don't get me wrong. I love it. The team did well. See the stats there. You see the stats here from the bench. How's the rotation in the bullpen? Okay. You know, the, these guys aren't going to pitch much, so it's fine. And then the bullpen was the bullpen. 125 wins. No other team other than the Brewers with 100. So a little bit weaker this year. Opens up the door for a three-peat. Dodgers to start it off. Of course, they have Jake Arrieta and CC Sabathia. We should beat them, though. Win game one, two to one. Game two, Pettiver Sabathia. We win nine to seven. And uh, we should be able to win game three right here. We don't. We should be able to win game four right here. And we do. Brewers again. They've been a solid team without having to do any make any moves. 103 wins. Shout out to William Contreras. Is it William or Wilson? It's Will. Uh, wait. Now nah, I don't even remember. Yeah, William. Okay, I was right the first time. Pettit versus Gallon. They have Gallon now. Nice. They lose though. Lose game two. We lose game three. Okay, it's two to one. Win game four. Shout out to the guys. Can we win game five? And we do. We're going to take on the Red Sox once again. In the World Series. Getting back there. Trying to get their revenge and prevent us from a three-peat. 93 win team for the Red Sox. Garrett Whitlock versus Pedro Martinez. Game one, we win six to four. Tanner versus Andy. Game two, we win 12 to eight. Can we win game three here with Santana versus Luzardo? We sure can. And we are going for the three-peat, the only legend team to be able to do this if they can complete it here, which is kind of interesting. You would think that they would all be able to do it, but I don't think we're going to do it here, though. We got Chase on the mound. I don't know if I want Chase pitching this game for, but you know what? It's fine. 
If I have to go to another game, not a big deal. We have what one zero, so that's good. And uh, bottom two, nothing. Top three, nothing. Okay, looking good. Okay, fifth inning, not much. Honestly, Chase pitched well. I got to give him credit. All right, we got two zero, double, ground out. I say that, and then he. Okay, should have taken him out. Should have taken him once he hit that double. I knew it. All right, so tied up. We're going to take him out now. He, he pitched well, but unfortunately, I kept him in a little too long. Bringing Brian Wilson. Not too bad there. It's tied up. Frank Thomas, not much. Bottom eight. All right, top nine. Ground out, ground out. Hit by pitch. Ground out. All right. Keep Wilson in. Strike out, strike out. We're going to extras. Slayton versus Thomas. Pitcher change. Gabe Spire now. Double. We're going to hop out in and watch David Ortiz hit. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the first pitch. Instead of... Uh, okay, that's fine. There we go. Team select. All right. Instead of us watching pitching, we're going to watch hitting this time. So why not? See if we can take the lead here. One ball, one strike there to David Ortiz. I mean, he's very familiar with this ballpark. Very, very familiar. See some Rocky fans. That's a that's a hit. That's going to give us the lead. That is in the gap. And that will bring home Frank Thomas. David Ortiz with a RBI double to give us the lead. Absolutely clutch from David Ortiz. And that... Uh, Brings up Vladimir Guerrero. Let's see what he can do. He's gonna take a ball. No batting gloves for the guy. Grounds it foul. You throw the ball anywhere in the zone, he'll try to put the bat on it. One ball, two strikes. That's a ball down the dirt. If we get another run here, I'll be happy, and we could hop back on the quick sim. Quick manage. That's a ball. Sammy Sosa's on deck. Full count. Grounded. That's going to get the runner over. All right, so running to third, one out. We bring up Samuel... Montenegro Sosa. I made that up. Let's see what he can do. Sammy Sosa. Slamming Sammy. Oof. Right to first. And that's not going to get the run home. Because the infield was in. So. Chase Utley. Two singles. Two for four today. Let's see what he can do. Chopper foul. So we're only up three to two. It's only a one run lead. That's a swing and a miss right there. If I've ever seen one. And here's the pitch. Gabe. 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 That's the ball. 97 mile per hour sinker. Can we get another run? Three, three and two, full count. It's full count. We got Rodriguez on the deck. He's on the deck. That's ball four. So a little walk action. Brings up Yvonne Rodriguez. The cool kids call him Pudge. See what he could do. The ball. So it's one ball, one strike. A little down there, two and one. Sets. And he throws it. That hung there, but it's line foul. 
Two balls, two strikes. Trying to get another run here. Can we do it? Fouls it off. Just trying to fight to stay alive. And that's ball. Three and two. Derek Jeter on deck. 417 average with running in scoring position. Base is low to be nice here. But it's not going to matter as we one hop it to the green monster that's going to get a run home. Possibly two, and it will get two home. We are up five to two. What a inning here for the long ball beast. And Kate Smith will be coming in now. Against Derek Jeter. Still got a runner in scoring position. And we're still watching. I'm giving you guys hitting content. Now, we don't need to watch the pitching anymore. This is more exciting, I think. Possibly. Well, that's not exciting. That's a three outs right there. So that's going to do it. But a good inning. Get ourselves a little cushion. We're going to try to close it out here. Bring in Andrew Miller. And we're going to do team select. And we're just going to hop on a quick manage and just get out of the inning. Pitch, error, strikeout, fielder's choice, and a strikeout. Win 5-2. to two. And there are the Rockies celebrating. We get a three-peat with the Long Ball Beast. Shout out to them. Shout out to the Long Ball Beast. Getting the job done not once, not twice, but three times. Or some might say thrice. I'm not going to say that, though. I just said it. I know. Anyways, let's head back on. Look at the stats and close with the video. So we won the World Series which is cool let's take a look at the standings not standing sorry the awards frank thomas world series mvp and playoff mvp frank thomas just raked this video absolutely raked he's got to be on the thumbnail which i'm sure he will be if i remember which i i'll look i always look but yeah there you go you can see there's the pitching and that's it that's the video long ball beasts got the job done that's for sure. Let's close up the video. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe. Also hit the bell to be notified when I upload. Comment down below some more video videos. We have our socials play the channel and main channel down below in the description if you like other content from me, TJP. With that being said, I'm going to head on out for now. Take care. See you soon.